So today we're going to be talking about volume. And volume is simply the amount of space that an object occupies. So in math, there are lots of different formulas that we can use to calculate the volume of different shapes. But it can be a little daunting to try and remember all of those formulas. So before we even begin to discuss the formulas, we're going to try and make sure we understand what volume actually is. All right, so I've got this giant Amazon box here. And the idea of volume is saying either how much space is this going to take up if I put it on my desk, or I like to think of it as how much stuff can I fit inside. So right now what I want you to do is I want you to guess with these centimeter cubes here, if I were to put them inside, how many of them could I fit inside of this box? This is what a single cube looks like inside of this box. Here's what 500 cubes looks like. <laughs> All right, so I want you to make a quick guess. How many cubes do you think would fit inside of this box right here if we could fill it all the way to the top? So it would take us a really long time to try to count how many cubes fit in there one at a time, and I don't have enough cubes. But we can use a different strategy to try and figure out how many cubes could fit in. If we line up the cubes along the edges, we can create an array to figure out how many cubes it would take to cover the base of the box. We can then go up the edges to figure out how many different layers we would need. We can see here that it took 36 cubes along the long edge of the box, 20 along the short edge, and 18 to get to the top. Alright, so let's put some numbers to our idea of volume. Now if we were just going to cover the floor of our box here, our measurements were 36 cubes by 20 cubes. Okay, so if we were going to find the area of the base of this, that would be 36 times 20, which ends up equaling 720. Okay, but the idea of volume is not saying how much is the floor going to cover, it's saying how much will the entire box cover. So in that case then, we also found that the height of our box was also 18 cubes high. So now we have 720 cubes on one floor, but now we're going to build it up 18 times. So we're going to take 720 times 18, and that's going to end up equaling 12,960. So it turns out that there would be 12,960 cubes in this box if we filled it all the way. We can do this even faster using only one step, and that's our equation for the volume of a rectangular prism. For volume of a rectangular prism, we use the equation base times length times height. And in this problem, our base is 36, our length is 20, and our height is 18. And when we multiply those all together, we still get 12,960, and our units would be centimeters cubed, since we were measuring them in cubic centimeters. Now unfortunately, the volume for every shape can't be found using the exact same formula, because not all shapes are the same. So now we're going to go ahead and fill out some notes in our foldable for a couple different shapes that we will run into frequently. Click on the video below for the guided notes on volume.